no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is Moment of Clarity number 200 from LeeCamp.net that's right, 200 episodes of Screaming at the Power Elite who are pillaging our resources. 11 and a half hours of pumping out a truth you won't get on mainstream media. Nearly two years of introducing new ideas to the conversation. Most importantly, the word jizz waffles. I've covered a lot over these two years, but if I had to nail down a theme, it's the knockdown, drag out, fucking fist in your face fight over the hegemony of this country. Hegemony is the control of the ideas that manipulate the social consciousness, often of one nation over others, but also of the power elite over everyone else. As philosopher Slavoj Žižek says, this control is used to take ideology and mangle it into culture, making it seem natural and normal, making it seem as second nature as leaving a coffee shop after you release a fart so immense it sounds auto-tuned. And in general, the rich as fuck are winning this battle in as much as they drive their Brinks trucks up to the popular consciousness and rob it of its natural wants. They convince people that it's normal to have 3% of the population in prison or on parole, that it's common sense to lock people away for having a drug problem or a drug solution, that it's somehow standard operating procedure to destroy the life of a family tricked into a subprime mortgage because they didn't show personal responsibility instead of going after the bankers who have a moral compass spinning around so furiously that it's fucking airborne. The powerful attempt to take the ideology that it's somehow all right to drone bomb the shit out of every threatening bunch of black and white dots on a computer screen and turn it into an accepted part of our culture, something people no longer question how shitty it is like Fifty Shades of Grey. We're supposed to accept at a deep level that safety from perceived terrorists is more important than your freedoms. They try to force us to believe all the way down in our balls that it's normal to have to work three jobs to support a family you don't even like. It's kind of like that movie Inception where DiCaprio puts an idea in the guy's head and then the guy thinks it's his own idea and then Juno is like, BT Dubs, this shit is craptastic. And then the kid from Third Rock from the Sun is like, whoa. This is the fight to turn sick ideology into accepted culture. We seem to accept that the two political parties essentially agree on the biggest issues of our time. War and Wall Street, wealth, and the idea that Howie Mandel has some kind of talent. We seem to accept that our goal in life is to collect the most things, cars and clothes and babies, and not concern ourselves with, with, with what's happening to the natural world around us and whether it can sustain the extra large cars and the supersized babies and the gasoline needed to haul our fat ass babies around from one meaningless store filled with Korean made crap to another meaningless store filled with Chinese made crap. This is the fight that goes on every day on every media outlet, whether people know it or not. The solution is to do the reverse, to take things that seem natural, like the idea that war is infinite or that factory farms are inevitable, and turn them back into ideologies. One day soon, I hope most of America will look at the millions of pigs so filled with steroids they're like chemical piñatas, forced to live their entire lives in a cage too small to turn around in, and go, well, that's one view of how the world should work. I don't buy it, though. Or the fact that CEO pay is nearly 400 times that of your average worker. Rather than saying, that's how capitalism goes, let's say that's one theory on how it should work. And that theory is fucking insane. With any luck, Moment of Clarity will get bigger and bigger and one day be an even smaller part of the fight. Because more people will wake up and stop swallowing the ideology that's being forced down our throats harder than a Howie Mandel game show. That's been your 200th moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. This web series and the podcast only exist today because of people like you leaving comments, telling friends, and also hundreds of tiny donations. If you'd like to become a member, go to LeeCamp.net slash membership and keep fighting. No plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretending.